So welcome to this special edition of the Jetson E-Bike with Rich's Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you got a problem with your back tire and don't know how to change it out, stay tuned because this video will help you. Alright, so to remove the back wheel of your Jetson, you need a 3 quarters to get this off. You need a T25 to take your kickstand off. Once you get the T25 screw off, go ahead and remove all that. That will come right off your kickstand. Then take your other side off. Then with the T30, you can remove your disc brake up here. Hey, if you guys go to my store, you can get some of this swag like this t-shirt or something like this. Alright, once you take those off, and then with a 3 sixteenths, you can take this top one and this one off to remove this piece that goes onto your disc brake. What you want to do is note how that goes on. So study that right there and you can see how all three of those go on. So there's one up here and then two right there. So there's how they go. And then go ahead and can take this off. See if that will allow that to pull out now. You have a cable on the other side that we got to deal with. So right here. Just keep on moving it out a little bit. So right here you want to pop the cable out and that will give you more room to work with. The easy way to get this tire off is to take like a, a open end wrench like that. And just zip it right down through the side and it comes right off. That out. Let's go ahead and investigate if we can where the actual hole is in the tube. Alright, so the compressor is a little too loud there, but we can see there by my thumb is a little slice in the tube. Alright, so here is your new tube. It is 12.5 times 2.25, I believe, which this one fits 1.75 to 2.25. So you can find the size right on there. So there you go. Now, how I like to do it is to put your tube inside there, and then I like to put some air in it just to fill that up, and then I let the air back out. So, I went ahead and put some air in it just to fill that up, get all the wrinkles out of it. I like to do that. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And then when you go to put this back on, make sure that your valve stem is facing away from the brake. So I have just a little bit of air on it, and I'm just walking it on, just like a bicycle chain you would walk on, and just pushing with my thumb all the way over. And then I'm just making some final adjustments. So there's just a little bit of air in there. 
and then I'm gonna blow it up all the way. So I'm just kind of squeezing it, massaging it right in there. All right, I got some air in it now. It's pretty hard, I can't push it too, too much down with my thumb. And then just time to put it back on and reassemble it. So when we go to put our disc brake back on, remember how that goes. If you can go ahead and look at that. Here's a little better view. So we know that one was at the top there. Then this one is going in. Like that. And then this one cups that one. So just like that. Okay, we got our disc brake back on. Go ahead and put our kickstand back on. Got a little screw there. You got your washer on there. Go ahead and put your nut back on. You put on your disc brake. Just kind of eyeball it up, make sure that it's not rubbing right there. Hey, I hope this video helped you guys out with your Jetson back tire. This is Rich's Mowers and Blowers. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, get notified every time I put out a new video like this. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and thank you for your support. We'll see you next time.